Hey, babe. Yeah. Are we supposed to do something today? No, I think the Linklater field trip is next week. Yeah, yeah, no, I meant... I meant today. I feel like there's something we were supposed to be doing. Like something important. Come on. Hey, guys! Good morning! So I've been out there for about two months just sitting in your bathtub and I'm kind of ready to eat because I haven't since the last one. You know what I'm talking about. Just here you are. I'll be outside by the craft services. I just helped myself to whatever was in your fridge. Cool? All right, including the Bisquick. It was dry. I just drank. All right, well, you'll be out here soon. Okay. Welcome back to An Actor, Actor Prepares. Prepares. Now much of life is really a big balancing act. Scheduling out auditions, rehearsals. Finding time at the gym and, well, yeah, finding more time at the gym. The same thing's true for acting. Meals. Both. <laughs> it's really about finding choices that complement each other. So you have a balanced, full rounded performance, or in today's case, a deliciously balanced meal. So join us as An, An Actor, Actor Prepares Bacon and Beer Carbonara. Now the first thing you want to do for today's recipe is go ahead and get your water boiling and your pasta noodles cooking. Today we're using spaghetti noodles, or as Gianna likes to call it, spaghetti. Next up we're talking bacon, or as I like to call it, bacon. So, I know what you're thinking, 450 degrees, start it cold and your bacon will be bold, ba 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 that was so two episodes ago. This time we're cooking our bacon in the skillet. Well, wait, 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 now I'm just confused. Well, which way is better for cooking bacon, a skillet or an oven? Well, neither one is actually better than the other, they're just both different techniques. Oh, like Stanislavski or Meisner. Who? Exactly. Both are perfect techniques, just as these are perfect techniques for cooking bacon. They just happen to deliver different end results. Now, we've gone ahead and chopped up our bacon and we're going to add it to our skillet over medium-low heat for about 10 minutes. Whoa! Looking good. Now we're going to add our chopped onions and chopped mushrooms. You're going to let this cook until the bacon gets nice and crispy and all the fat has rendered out. Now see, the reason we did this in the skillet and not the oven is because all the bacon fat is going to soak into the onions and the mushrooms and is really going to add a whole different dimension when we add this to the pasta later. And also, it's going to make a nice comparison to the beer we're about to add. Talk about a perfect pairing. The meatiness of the mushroom mixed with the crispiness of the bacon and the slight sweetness to the onion, it's all going to come together brilliantly. Now, moving on to the beer. As Alex said, we are going to add some beer to this recipe, and we are going to go with a stout or dark brown ale, whichever one you can find. As Meisner told us, an ounce of behavior is worth a pound of words. In our case, about a cup of brown ale is worth a pound of pasta. So, we're going to check on in over here, and if we're ready, let's pour this baby in. <laughs> Next! Bring this to a boil, and then reduce to a simmer. Now let's talk eggs. Now, we're no stranger to whisking eggs on an actor prepares. We've been here, we've done that, but this time, we're not adding salt, pepper, cream, no. We're simply whisking the eggs, because later we're going to add in all that wonderful flavor from the sauce Alex is working on. 
This recipe calls for three eggs and two egg yolks. You want to get that right because otherwise it throws off the whole balance of the meal. Great. Get your eggs and whisk away. Perfect. Looks like your eggs should be whisked and the sauce is rendering nicely. I want to jump in an Olympic sized swimming pool full of this sauce and nothing else. Can I come? No. Let's temper our eggs. Next, we're going to add the pasta and Parmesan cheese. Oh, a classic pairing, just like Romeo and Juliet. Stanley and Blanche. The odd couple. Aaron's and Flaherty. Murray and Cober. Yeah, we're the best. God damn it, I want that dog. One day, honey, one day. Now! Here we go, time to put it all together and make the perfect balance. If you're worried about raw egg, guess what? You're a wimp. And also, the hot pasta is going to cook the egg, so don't fear. That's right. We're going to bring over the pasta. We toss it right on top of the sauce, add about a cup of Parmesan cheese, and then really just toss it well to coat. That's about it. Put her on in. Yay! And now, let's eat! Hey, here's one more way to round out your balanced meal. Pair it with a complimentary beverage. For example, dark beer dish, I'm drinking dark beer. Now, I would go against the grain, however. If there's already dark beer in the dish, maybe it would be a complimentary pairing to go with something a little bit lighter, like a pale ale. Lindsay, a light beer with a dark beer dish? That's like singing Kurt Vile's Lonely House at an audition for Legally Blonde the musical. <laughs> I love that. Well, that's part of the excitement, keeping everyone, including yourself, on their toes. Or your point shoes. And that's how an actor prepares? Yes. And that's how, how an, an actor, actor prepares. prepares. Well, an actor prepares. Well, an actor prepares. Who knows what they're making? Some kind of bacon to build a carbonara? He got vegetables and he got them in a pair. And then he started to add some light beer longer. I don't know what I can understand. But an actor prevails. And an actor shows he can. Actor prevails. Waste a perfectly good beer put into fucking food.